recording yet? I am. Oh, f- recipe today we're starting easy very easy because um my cooking skills aren't very good this is directly off of my pregnancy guide um, doesn't mean you have to be pregnant to eat these these are delicious nutritious for anybody um, Jaden absolutely loves them so it's really easy it really involves two things we put them in a food processor we blend and then we put them into balls <laughs> I feel like that sounds very Anywho, <laughs> so yeah, let's, um, we are gonna get going today. If you guys really, for real, like, I need your help in helping me decide what to call these recipes that I'm gonna be showing you from here on out. Um, we will grow together in the kitchen and become better cooks together. Because I hate cooking. <laughs> but anywho, uh, so yeah, without further ado, let's start baking. <laughs> okay, let's get going. Okay. First thing it says, oh, I should probably go over the ingredients. God, I'm failing already. So literally all you guys need for this recipe is, um, well, let me, let me backtrack. There's a few things you need for this recipe as far as flour. You can choose whatever kind of flour you'd like. Personally, we are gonna be using ground up almond flour, a little bit of coconut flour, and then we have raw dark cocoa. If you wanna make this a little bit more like treat-like or um, you could add milk chocolate to that. We are going to use dates to add a little bit more sweetness. Um, we are using the 22 Nutrition Collagen Protein to add just a little bit of protein in there. Peanut butter, you can use any kind of butter you want. You can use almond butter, cashew butter, sunflower seed butter, silver to towel. Coconut oil, get some fats in you. And then flax seed for fiber. And then a pinch of salt for a little bit more taste. Oh, fuck. How can I forget? Frick. How can I forget the pure vanilla extract? Um, and that's it. And we are literally gonna put all of it into the food processor, blend it, make it into cute little Christmas balls and put it in the fridge for two hours and it's done. So let's go. So, put cashew butter, I'm using peanut butter, so put peanut butter. Oh, I need a spoon. Hello. <laughs> People are gonna like see my personality more and think I'm just the most weird ass person in the whole entire world. So peanut butter goes in the food processor. Um, this is ground up peanut butter from the store. I like it more because it's just so much more fresh when it comes in containers. So, that. We're gonna put the dates. Also, if your dates are really hard, I soaked it in hot water for 15 minutes to make them a little bit more pliable. Uh, coconut oil. Vanilla extract. Oh, I need these, but I did not come prepared. I thought I was so prepared. <laughs> One and a half teaspoon. Uh, um, 
It's sea salt. Two beans. And then we'll go process it. Balls. 
they're so cute. Put them in the fridge for two hours and they're finished and you can eat them and have them for snacks um, or dessert or breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Drum roll. <laughs> okay, that was good. I'm really kind of excited. I really like it with peanut butter versus the cashew we did before. You guys, these are delicious. You guys are going to love these. They are literally so nutritious. They will help swerve your sweet tooth if you're having one of those days. And um, they're good for you. They're healthy for you, packed full of micronutrients and um, good stuff. So definitely try them out and let me know how you like them. How is that? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. <laughs>